I'm Tim Phelps. I'm the Information Forester with the Tennessee Department of Agriculture Division of Forestry and we're here at the Tennessee Governor's Residence talking a little bit about the tremendous trail as well as the Arboretum Project that uh, the First Lady in cooperation with the Tennessee Department of Agriculture Division of Forestry and Tennessee Urban Forestry Council have put together to better educate people about the benefits of trees and forests, especially as it relates to their yard or community forests. The Tremendous Tree Trail is sort of, it's connected to the, the great garden that they have, uh, growing fruits and vegetables and all those great things. The Tree Trail is just outside of that and has 16 different trees that we use to, again, talk about the importance of those trees and, and forests within the community. Uh, to, to school kids. Uh, we've had a couple of third grade classes, even younger, and hope to use that tree trail in the future, uh, basically just to tell kids that, hey, trees have names too. Um, they don't, you don't just call them tree or hey dude, you say, hey, this, this is a white pine tree or this is a Yushino cherry. And that these trees not only have names, but they have uh, different characteristics about them. We can start talking about shapes. We can bring in some of the some of the things that they're talking about within their classroom. Um, you know, looking at contrast, looking at different colors, looking at shapes. Obviously, talking about names. Even bringing in a little bit of English uh, to talk uh, to use to try to help the teachers better meet their 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 teaching standards. Um, and they can come to the governor's residence and learn about the trees and, and again the benefits that they have in their communities. We also were working with the First Lady's office to uh, make the Tennessee residents an official arboretum. They've got enough species there with just a few that we're hoping to plant uh, this fall to add to it and make it a level two arboretum with the Tennessee Urban Forestry Council. So we're looking to plant and have over 60 different species to make it a level two arboretum. We're really close. I think we only need to plant about another dozen or so to get to that 60 threshold. And uh, eventually, visitors to the residence can learn more about each of those different species. These are all trees that are going to be native to the state of Tennessee. And we'll not only introduce them by name, but also tell them a little bit about where they grow in Tennessee and what sort of benefits they have uh, to humans, to wildlife, and just to the nature and, and natural surroundings. So Tennesseans for generation have taken pride in, in going hunting, taking their family camping from one place to the next, and obviously uh, campfires are a part of the hunting or camping experience. You know, you, you, it's a place to settle in at night, uh, to commune around uh, the glowing light of a campfire, and, and it just becomes a part of the overall experience. Many of us don't think twice about throwing uh, the bolts of wood from our own uh, forest, from our own area. It's free, maybe it's from our farm, maybe it's from our, our neighbor's property. We don't think twice about going in there and, and taking that and using that for fuel. It's free, it's easy access, and for many generations, what, what was the problem? Well, now we're seeing all this, uh, these, this influx of, of all these insects and disease issues, and we're now knowing um, that many of these are moved around very freely and very easily on that firewood. We wouldn't normally think of it that way, but that's just the case. It's, it's, it's what we're looking at in, in our modern world. Um, I like to, to call them carelessly transmitted diseases, uh, the CTDs. Uh, they're just, they're picked up and they're moved and most people wouldn't think twice about it. I wouldn't have 10 years ago. Uh, but as you become more educated about insects and disease issues and forest health issues within our state, we're hoping to educate people about this. It's hard to control from a regulatory standpoint. It's just you can't lock your borders. You can't tell everybody um, what not to do. But what people can do is to help this problem out uh, by, by not moving firewood around um, so freely. The issue is it lies just underneath the bark of the tree. And you look at a, at, a, at, a, at a dead and down tree and you chop it up into firewood and you probably won't see those insects and disease issues under there, but they could be underlying. We just want to educate folks about the dangers of that from moving it from one location to another. 
We are working with many federal, state, local partners, nonprofit organizations. We're working with the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. We're working with uh, the Tennessee State Parks. We're working with the Nature Conservancy. Many other partners uh, that, because uh, we recognize that this, again, it's not something that we can tackle alone. We need the support of the public to recognize the issue. And it's, it's not just an issue that affects uh, forests. Gardeners are familiar with the, 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 the dangers of insects and disease issues. The bar, which I can't do at the moment because it's just not working with me. But if you look underneath, you can start seeing these galleries of insects and disease issues underneath. Mother Nature is a, a very powerful force. And uh, the, while we're seeing a shift globally in, in some of these organisms and pest issues, uh, our forests will prevail. We're going to have trees and, and, and forests that uh, might be composed of different species, but we're going to continue to have them. And uh, it's up to us as, as humans that use the forest, again, for those many different objectives, um, to stand up and say, you know, here's, here's ways that we can better protect it. So we want to encourage folks to learn more about the insects and disease issues affecting their forests and trees. We want to help, help us spread the word about these insects and disease issues with their family members, with their neighbors. And when you do go camping or you do go hunting, make sure you get that firewood local. Buy local, burn local. Go to don'tmovefirewood.org or protecttnforest.org to learn more information.